Hello and welcome to another Bonanza unboxing session. Oh, I do like these Bonanza sessions. Okay, so here we have a small box. Let us discover its contents. Oh, look at this. We have a Crash Dummies car. Oh, very nice. Fresh from 1992, I would guess. Who had one of these? I did. Oh, well, it includes a figure. Who have we got? Axel. You can see Axel's disemblimbed body there. Yes, what a toy, a toy where you intentionally smash cars against brick walls and watch as the passenger's limbs fly off, what fun, excellent. I won't open this because I'll be doing a full review on this soon. Okay, next up we have another package. This one is slightly heavier. You like heavy? Heavy is good. Unless we're talking about obesity. It's a Sega Dreamcast. Sega Dreamcast, everyone. We have a controller and a visual memory card. There is the Dreamcast itself. There's the cables. There's the Dream Key. And it just comes with a variety of software unboxed. Quake 3 Arena, Star Wars Demolition, Track and Field. MSR, good game, good game indeed. Uh, Jet Set Radio and Virtua Fighter. What's that say? What? Virtua Fighter 3. Oh, obviously being ignorant here. It's a shame they're not boxed. But what can you do? Some people just like to throw their boxes away, don't they? Absolute morons. Why would you throw a box away? Probably a safe space. Anyway, there we go. Sega Dreamcast. A massively underrated console in my opinion. Graphics were much better than anything of its time. Just Sega, Sega, what, you went wrong. All went downhill from the 32X, didn't it? Never mind. Nintendo have cleaned up your mess. Okay, next we have a faith box. And inside the faith box... I have faith that it's something good. God, that was terrible. Uh, it's a Sinclair Z88 portable computer with the rubber keys. There's not much response on there. There's not hardly any tactile response. It's, just, it's like... Know, what's that like? It's like pressing something rubbery and unpleasant. I think of a few things. Still. There we go. Manual. By Ian Sinclair. I wonder if he is related to Clive. It's gotta be, hasn't he? Maybe Clive just recruits people with his surname. Because he's crazy. Right, next box. I'm whipping through these quite fast today. Because I should be doing some proper work, really, so. 
these boxes were just too appealing. Sitting there, not doing anything. Side of the room. Had to be open. Okay, let's speed this section up because this box is well packaged. So what do we have here? We have a clue to its contents. It says three times Edo, three times eight megabytes equals 24, good maps. 3.2 gigabyte IDE and BIOS is okay. Oi like a good BIOS, me. Nothing like a good BIOS breakfast. Oh, Jesus Christ, speed up again, come on, come on. Camera breaking. Ah! What kind of monstrous packaging is this? Oh, Jesus Christ. Okay, we have a label that says important. If you have absolutely any problems or are not satisfied in any way oh, with your purchase, oh I see, please call on a one or email ollybedford at hotmail.co.uk. There you go, if you've got any problems, give Ollie Bedford an email, he will surely help you out. As it happens Ollie, I do have a bit of an issue, because this CD drive appears to be lost in the case. What happened there? And also, have you not heard of bubble wrap? You've just wrapped this in bloody cardboard. Plus the power switch is on. What are you doing? Anyway, this is a 486 Compact Pro Linear. It's a DX4100. For those of you who like to know the more delicate technical specs of the processor. Can't give you its exact incarnation. I do know it's a bus clock tripled DX4100. Or it said it was when I chased it. Hopefully it still is, unless it's transformed during posting. Uh, what do we have on the back? We have normal sockets, PS2, ooh, dual serial ports. Wow, look at that. Huh. Parallel port and a monitor connection. No sound card, but I have a sound card. I can put a sound card in it myself. Lucky me. Okay, and the last box is a rather, rather hefty beast. camera seems to have moved halfway across the room by this point. But we do have another uh, Ollie Bedford special. Oh my god, Ollie Bedford. What is it with you and your cases? It's got a bloody great hole in it. No wonder you stick this on the front. Important! If there's a problem with your computer, please call me. Hello, Ollie. You seem to be sending out dirty bags of shit. Maybe you'd like to give them a quick clean and stop fucking putting sellotape over them before you send them out. What is, look at this! For fuck's sake. Anyway, enough of that. This is a uh, Pentium... What's that? 333. Three, three. What's that? Pentium 2? Yeah, Pentium 2. Uh, designed for Microsoft Windows 98. You lucky bugger. Uh, Pentium to 256 megs of RAM. That's a lot of megs of RAM. Well, on, the, on the back we got sound, on built-in sound. USB, early, very early USB incarnation. Uh, serial, parallel, joystick, monitor. It's got a dedicated video card. I think it's um, a reasonably specced card as well. 
uh, Ethernet port. And we're moving with the times now, aren't we? We've got Ethernet ports, joystick ports. Whatever next. Okay, that is. Uh, um, oh, should we do one more? I'm quite enjoying this. Let's do one more box. Back in a sec. Oh, you're in for a treat today, guys. I've got two more boxes here. Oh, happy days! You may be asking yourself, what the hell is he going to do with all this stuff? Don't you worry, I also ask myself the same question. I imagine I'll be making some videos with it all. In the meantime, I just need to find some more shelving to put it on. Anyway, enough about me. Speed this up. Okay, if there's any kids watching at home, firstly, what the fuck are you doing with yourselves? Go out and play. Secondly, don't ever use scissors like I do, because I use them like a fucking moron. Okay, today, 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 now we have a Amstrad GX4000, one of the, um, the best selling consoles of the 1990s. Bollocks! Yes, this is, uh, this is what is called as a band, I call a bandwagon console where Amstrad thought to themselves, oh look, they're all making consoles. We're doing very well. Here's an idea. I hope this isn't the manual which they've screwed up. Looks like a manual. Now it's uh, medication. It's a bit worrying, isn't it? Someone sent me a console padded with various medication instructions. Chemical bonds. Chloroform? Oh my word. Best not to ask. Yeah, let's jump on the uh, bandwagon and make a console! We don't know what we're doing, we make computers. And everyone likes our computers, because they're computers, so you can use them for games and other stuff. But we'll make a, sh we'll make a shitty console! Um, based on existing hardware. I can't be bothered to get this. Oh, go on then. Go on. Here we are. The Lamstrad GX4000. Lovely, um... Scott connection. Right? That was, I say, ahead of its time. To be fair, this console was underrated because it was reasonably well powered. It was more better powered than the CPC range. Um, it's just bad marketing, and you know, who's going to want an Amstrad GX4000 when you can have a Mega Drive? Next package. What do we have? We have someone who has a fetish for sellotape. So, we'll speed this one up, shall we? Well, I will speed this one up in post-editing. Oh, well, first we have... Oh God, that smells a bit odd. But we have a Pritztronic Micro 5500. from the 70s. Someone's tried to draw some sort of a ship launching control system here. Nice, I like that. Nice little personal touch. And there we have. We have a couple of uh, the shittiest joysticks you're ever likely to find. And we have the uh, Prince Tronic itself. Professional, amateur. Switches. Look at that. Look at that lovely orange. Takes batteries like these early consoles did. Look at that. What's that? Six C batteries. There's a look at that. Handy little sound control on the bottom. That is easy to use, isn't it? Have to get a screwdriver out to change the sound. There we go. Pritztronic. The product of the future. Um. 
there we go. I think we will call it a day with this unboxing bonanza. Uh, there's probably going to be another one. I'm slightly ashamed to say, but I have built up quite a stock of stuff. So, thank you for watching, and if you want to watch the previous bonanza, click here. If you don't, click anywhere else, or leave. And please subscribe if you want to see more. Thank you for watching, goodbye! Uh, hello, um, can I speak to Ollie Bedford, please? Ollie, 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 Ollie. Um, I bought a couple of computers off you, and it there seems to be a bit of confusion. Uh, I expected uh, machines which were, um, you know, to a satisfactory standard, not ones which are caked in sellotape, uh, full of holes and covered in shit. No, not, not actually feces, but they're grubby as hell. Could, couldn't you have given them a clean before you sent them? Not too difficult. Right, okay. Okay. Well, um, I'll tell you what, uh, if it's too difficult, I won't be buying anything from you then, will I? <laughs> Sorry? What do you mean you don't care? You don't... You don't you don't care. You put up a cost. Yeah, I think that's fair enough. Just fuck off, Ollie!